Hi, this is Jack from TritiumSoft.com, talking to you today about our exciting new software release, World Flags Dojo 2. Let's get started. In World Flags Dojo 2, if we look at the sixth one down, we have the Flags Quiz. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, Flags Quiz. So, the Flags Quiz is a really unique feature of World Flags Dojo 2 in that it helps you learn the flags and geographies of countries around the world. And I'll demonstrate what I mean. So instantly when you open the, the uh, quiz function on World Flags Dojo 2, you're presented with a flag as well as a locator map for that country. And the object of the quiz is to select from this big scroll view the correct label for this country so for instance in this country we can say well we know it's in Africa it appears to be in Eastern Africa um, and it looks like it's below Egypt and if I was guessing I would say Sudan if I look at the flag it looks like a lot of Middle Eastern flags these this design is very popular in the area and it can be difficult to tell the differences um, for people that don't live over there so but based off this locator map I'm gonna say it looks to me like it's probably Sudan so if I scroll over here uh, this table is in alphabetical order top to bottom uh, left to right and so we can go over here and find Sudan and try it out. And it turns out I was right on the money. And we know this because the whole screen turned green. Now at this point I can click on the, the locator map or I can wait for a new question to pop up. So it stays on there for you to learn to, to lock in your mind what the correct answer is and then it loads a new question. Uh, now here's a, a another country. I know looking at this right away that it's Cambodia. I recognize the flag. I, I, I've i been to the country. You can see it below the locator map. Some people won't know it though. And that's the whole point of this quiz. And so, uh, but let's just say I, I want to get it wrong on purpose just to show you how it works. So let's just say you can see, oh, Austria. Well, we know it's not Austria because I know what the country is. But if I select Austria, everything turns red, telling you you're wrong. And so um, I can try again. I can say, oh, how about Anguilla? Well, I know Anguilla is, it is not this country because not only is it not in Asia, but it's an island in the Caribbean. But let's just press it. Still red. I could go through all 300 choices until I hit the right one. Um, and so that's a nice feature is like sometimes you're like not sure – you can try a couple, but if you're stuck on one, you have two options with this quiz, uh, which is really nice. Uh, the first option is to cheat or to shortcut to the answer, and that's what I always recommend because the whole point is to learn. And so by shortcutting to the answer, you can see what was the right answer so that you can uh, try to remember it for the next time. But the other option is you could just load another question by pressing the flags quiz button. So in this case, let's shortcut. So uh, we already know it's Cambodia and whatnot, but if we didn't know, we click on the map and it says, oh, Cambodia. And now I have this nice, beautiful map. I can zoom in, do all the things that I want to do with it. I can press GPS and it'll tell me, oh, Cambodia time, it's 7 in the morning. And this is the location of the place I'm centered over. I can close this, and if I want, let's say I was like, I'm not sure that was right. I can scroll down to Cambodia on my list, and there it is, right? You got the flag, you got the locator map, and you got the name, Cambodia. And so that's a really nice feature. Um, and now I can also scroll up or whatnot, but I can... Uh, also click through the map and just press close button I go right to the top again and I could load another quiz and so uh, this particular one here 
is a very uh, famous place. Um, I also know this location. This one is uh, the Philippines. If I click over here and find Philippines, everything's going to turn green. And there we go. It's just that easy. There's a lot harder choices on this list. And the beauty of this is that you can play it, quit it, um, and you can also access other features right from the quiz. I'll press flags table. I'm instantly in flags table. So it's really nice. And once I'm in flags table, I can choose something else. So it's very convenient to move around, um, which makes this a, a great flags quiz. Um, like right here. Uh, here's one that I would get wrong. Um, I think I know what it is, but let's just, I'll just pick something. Oh, I got it wrong. I press on the map. Boom. It's Guiana in South America. And I can zoom out and see, oh, yeah, there's South America. And we'll see you next time. Thank you.